to my channel. Today I have a really special episode for you. I have got a lovely guest for me and her name is Malika. <laughs> Guys, let me just tell you, right? She's almost as bonkers as me. Don't tell her I said that. Don't worry about that. She's not lying. Yeah. <laughs> so Malika, tell me, because your accent is not Ghanaian. That means you're not from here. Yeah, that, that's a given away. Yeah, easily. so tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me about a little bit about yourself. So, um, I'm 23. I moved to Ghana last year again, but I actually was here once before. Okay. I went to high school here, um, at BIS, British International School. Uh -huh. And for about four years, um, mm -hmm. basically because my dad lived here. Yeah. And Ghana just always sounded better in my head. My dad's in the sun, he's, you know. Yeah. So I, I decided, you know what, I was in year eight, and mm -hmm. I said, let me just go. Year eight? Yeah, I was in year eight. Oh my goodness. And I said, let me, let me just go. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Literally. And, here I was. And then again this time, I was like, shall I just go? Here I am. Really? Yeah. Okay, so do you have plans to stay or no, you got no. that you're going? I'm staying. You're staying? I'm staying. How long have you been here now? It's a year now, September, yeah, a year now. Really? Yeah. No, but do you know, I'm really impressed because you're still quite young. I mean, I'm young, I'm young too, but yeah. You can see, like... the radiance, we can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're quite young then. Because yeah. there's a lot of people that want to be scared, but they're scared, but you're quite young and you've taken the step. So that's really impressive. So I know you said that your, your dad is here, but did you have any reservations about making the move and like leaving your friends behind and what was going to happen in Ghana? Did you you know what? I think it? about leaving people, that I wasn't afraid of, only because people are also moving on. You know, we all graduated, yeah. mm. this is just where I started. So waiting behind four people didn't yeah. make sense to me. I think what I was scared about was about being here again. Mm -hmm. I love Ghana a lot, but yeah. I also know it has its its negatives, its uh -huh. annoying things. Uh -huh. um, so I think that was what I was more concerned about. Mm -hmm. And also making friends, feeling like I had what I had back in England. Yeah, yeah. I think you've just touched on the friend issue. I have that issue as well. I'm like, would you like to be my friend? <laughs> I, you know I haven't met anyone who's moved back and doesn't have this issue. Yeah. They're actually begging for friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's really hard. I, I'm not sure why that is, but I guess that's a whole subject in itself, yeah. like trying to make friends here. But definitely, I think that's something that could definitely put people off, but that obviously that has not stopped you. No. But you're not just here for personal reasons, you're also here for business as yes. well, right? That, that's the main, main that's, reason. That's the main reason, yeah, <laughs> okay. So tell me about your business, because you've started a business. Yes, so... One business? Two businesses. Two businesses. <laughs> Come from you. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I started two businesses. Mm -hmm. um, one was actually founded in the UK, and the other has been founded since I moved back. Okay. So I will touch on the first, yeah. which is a skincare. So mm -hmm. I'm the co-owner, there's another partner in London, and we decided to start a skincare brand. Um, skincare has always been something very important to me. I used to have worse skin than this. Yeah, skin Your skin's not bad? What do you mean worse skin than this? Maybe it's an angle though. <laughs> um, and I think my mum, when I was growing up, because we used to live in England, there was no creams for like our skin, so yeah. she used to mix a lot of creams. Mm. So when I went to university, me too, I started mixing it. Everyone's like, oh, Malika, like, what cream? I'm like, yeah, I don't like special stuff. Yeah. Um, but then I was talking to a friend one day, and we were like, you know what? There, there is a lacking for like different types of share. Like people come back and go on and bring in all the share butter. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't we do our own little something? Mm. And that basically birthed the brand. So the brand is Boda Organics. Um, we're organic, cruelty free, vegan, literally everything that is good and organic for the skin and hair. Mm -hmm. um, so we've been selling in London for about nine, ten months now. Okay. And in October we are launching in Ghana. Right. So we'll be able to order online and get delivered over here as well, which is really exciting. Um, so that's the skincare brand. Okay, so and you source all your materials from Ghana? All from, yeah? all from Ghana. All the ladies that work together to put our stuff together, we call them our Bojo women. Right. And they are the ones that touch the products. No England, nothing is touched. Really? Yes. Oh, that's so awesome. So do you go to the villages to go and get yes, so we, products? We're, we're based in the, not based, we have no office there, but we're yeah. in the north. Yeah. That's where we get our contacts from. Um, I think when I came, it was this actually working here mm. that helped because the lady here is from the north. So oh. she connected me to her mother in the northern region who yeah. is now our main supplier. Wow, yeah. that's so awesome. Okay, and so you're going to launch when? In Ghana? Like, October. October. No date yet. Really? And how, how do you plan to launch? Because obviously, you know, you, do you have a website? Yes. You have a website, okay. So, but how do you intend to let people know about your brand? You know, I think because Ghana, 
websites aren't really a thing. It's all shopping on Instagram. Yeah. So that's what we will be doing. Um, we have an Instagram page already mm-hmm. where we've kind of indicated that, you know, it's soon to be watching in Ghana. Yeah. Um, yes, mm-hmm. but we haven't started selling here yet, so the main focus is still in the UK. Yeah. So I think between now and then, I'm trying to gain us, you know, some Ghanaian subscribers, yeah, some Ghanaian yeah, followers. Yeah. Let's we'll see, like, mm-hmm. that we are here and yeah. we're, we're soon to launch. Oh, I'd love to see. Should have bought. No. Oh, sorry. She sorry. wasn't prepared. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
plan or prep what I'm going to say because mm-hmm. it's not going to be taken the same way that someone may need, like in England would. Mm-hmm. So I find myself overthinking a lot, I find myself planning a lot, and I, I do just kind of move on a whim, I don't, I don't plan a lot. Yeah. Um, so you. that's been something that I've really struggled with. Mm-hmm. Just trying to understand how the Guardian mind works yeah. so that I can communicate. When you know, let me know. Oh, you too? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> But that's awesome. There's something I was going to ask you. My mind has just gone completely blank now. Because I'm like, okay. so we just sit here for a moment. Yeah, while it'll I'm, come back. I remember what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, uh, yeah, it's actually gone out of my head. Hmm. Okay. So is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, it depends. I'm throwing it back on you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, 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 uh, <laughs> I'm not think now. I'm, 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 I'm completely lost. To be fair, no. We haven't spoken about this job. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. The actual nine to five. Yes. So yes, please. The, the real so, job. so how do you manage? So you've got your two businesses running and you're working at nine to five. Yes. Tell me about your nine so to five. So the nine to five, that it was kind of always in the plan. I think when I announced to my family that I want to leave, they were like, "What are you going to do out there?" Mm. Right. And I was, I've been searching around also. Um, but Guardian, I'm emailing you. I have from London. I want to work here. No reply. LinkedIn. No reply. You didn't email me though, did you? If I'd have known you. So I talked to my family and my dad owns a business, mm-hmm. and my parents both do. And they were like, oh, I work for you. I was like, joking, you're not for yeah. Later on, I was like, no, but seriously though, like, mm-hmm. is there a space? I did a degree in marketing. Right. Um, so I was kind of keen on doing marketing over here as well. Mm-hmm. But Working for your family, I've, I've heard a lot of things, and my parents are very, with their business, I'm a daughter, but they don't care. <laughs> it's, it's business or nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so after going back and forth a bit, we said, you know what, let's let's try this. Mm-hmm. Um, and and that's now here. So now I work here um, mm-hmm. in sales, marketing, and communications um, in oil and gas, which is very, I don't, who would have thought I'd ever end up in oil and gas? Wow. No, but that's amazing because I actually, I actually met you just a few weeks, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. right, at an event. And I, I didn't know who you were. I started speaking to you because I heard your accent. I was like, oh, are you from the UK? No, 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 so we had a kind of a good <laughs> connection there, right? But I didn't know who you were. But as I was coming to see you today, and I was like, oh, tell me how to get to your place. And you were directing me, and I was like, mm, I know the people that have that, you know, have that business. And you're like, that's my mum and dad. I was like, oh my gosh. So well. I'm like, thank God I didn't insult her. I was a reader because Ghana, especially Accra, is so small. Never know like, who you is. never know who someone is. Yeah. So imagine if, how embarrassing that would have been. No, but you're lovely. Why, why, would, why would she have been there? She's complimentary. I don't have money for you. Really? <laughs> so I'm not even something small. <laughs> wow. So how are you finding it, juggling all these things? How do you have time for your business? You know what? Like, do you um, sleep? Ish. You know what, that it's been hard. Honestly, like being honest, it's been really, really hard. Mm. Um, not only alone have I moved to Ghana, which is fine because I know Ghana, but still moving back already has its own its own emotional problems, you know? And then you're trying to to keep up with things. Mm. I think what's been good is the fact that I do work for my parents. So let's say on a day where they know that I'm very busy, let's say it was a day for example, I have an interview. Mm. At least I can say, okay, I'm going to take a few hours out from yeah. today. Yeah. If I was working for somebody else, maybe they'd say no. Mm. Mm. So I think that's been a blessing. Yeah. And also, people around me, people around me are also very willing to help me. Mm. My partner back in London, she, uh, like, I know it's our business, but still, she sees that I have a lot going on, so yeah. she's also very willing to help and just in oh, and do things nice. that maybe are for me, yeah. which has been very helpful. and. Yeah. Yeah, thank God for her. Shout out her. She sees this. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So you have a YouTube channel yourself, right? That's so tell us about it. That's new. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm what, like six months in? Okay. Um, yes. Everyone has to start at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, we've all start somewhere. Yeah. And I've just been documenting my journey moving back. Mm-hmm. I wish I'd started back in London, you know, to really show the difference yeah. in the lifestyle. That's what I did. Oh, oh, did you? Well. I didn't oh, start. I wished I had. Oh, you didn't? Okay. I didn't. No, no, I didn't. No, no. I didn't. YouTube, I fell into it by accident. I was, oh, ranting, I was having a rant one day and I put it on camera. That's basically how it started. Can you just make a video about all this stuff so we can watch this? Um, so, yeah, so I'm just documenting the journey. Um, mm-hmm. So I talk a lot about my negatives of living in Ghana. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes I feel like people 
was you that oh you're from England, you're moving to Ghana, won't it be amazing? And mm -hmm. yes, it is amazing. Yeah. However, it's also a big struggle that mm -hmm. I think people sometimes miss. Yeah. That I'm trying to let people know that actually, even though I am a kind of foreign, mm. I am still like struggling in, in a way, mm -hmm. and I'm just trying to let people see Ghana through my eyes, mm -hmm. basically. So that's a channel. Okay. So do you speak three or any languages? On the channel, you see me attempting, and it's not great. Shame. 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 Mm. I'll say shame, but I'm also receiving some of the shame because I can't oh, speak either. Shame. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying. I need to do some sort of you class to learn. or something. Yeah. I wish I could. If you, if you set up a class, I'd be the first one there. Really? I but need to learn. I need to, I need to learn. learn. I need to learn. If living in Ghana, especially doing business here and not speaking tree, like... It's tough. It's, it makes it hard to learn. I think, I think there's a certain thing as well that if you can at least try to speak the language, they have a bit more respect for you as do well. Do they? Because they also know if you and They do. So. Things, we, Ghanaians, we love to tease each other. So yeah, we do. they do laugh. They yeah. do laugh. But they also respect you for trying. At least you okay, try. Fair enough. I think so my best getting friend, the confidence to try is hard. Yeah, my best phrase is me to look at That's it. I don't understand what you're saying. And I think that's the most important phrase to learn. <laughs> because then you just know I can't, sorry. <laughs> how have you found, I'm, I'm going to be a new, but how have you... <laughs> Taking over. Oh how, <laughs> how have you found doing business here for six years? I'm new in this game, uh -huh. barely a year in. Mm -hmm. Six years in, how has it been not speaking to you and running business? It's tough. It's Trying really, to get things done. Buying yeah, materials, really build your own. Yeah, yeah, it's really tough because sometimes... They don't always understand. Sometimes for me, I've been told that I speak quite fast, so they're like, the brothel is too much. The English is too much. I'm like, okay, do you have... Not because, I'm not saying like that because they're stupid, but just because I'm like, I'm, I'm really trying to slow it down because I naturally speak quite fast. I didn't realize that. I naturally speak quite fast. And so it can be difficult. Most of the time, I just let Kwame do what he's oh. going to do. Because he, at least, his tree is 20 thousand times oh, better than right. me. See, I, 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 I would be my own personal problem, you know that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, people yeah. can around me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I had somebody next to me, I'd speak to you constantly, I'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I get nervous when I go out, I'm like, oh, I have to speak, and I'm not gonna... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they, they find it hard to get over the accent. They're like, oh, no, I don't understand. And like, you know what, another negative. Mm -hmm. Let's go over the accent. Yeah. Can yeah. we? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not the jokes, really. the yeah. jokes, the uh -huh. hard breath, the, the, the things that I don't say that are jokes, mm -hmm. it's, it's so draining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I came to go, I remember everyone was like, oh, your bridge is in it, in it. I'm like, oh, I don't really say in it that much, I don't think. They're like, in it. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Bruv, in it, fam. Yeah. It's like, I don't, I barely use these phrases. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's more from TV and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah no, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, those jokes and then they just they are they're old now. Not to go on here, but to yeah, 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 no, I totally agree. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. But yeah, but thank you so much for thank being you. on my channel today. I've had real fun interviewing you today no, because we're a bit similar. No, we are. We are. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. This makes us friends now, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of okay. course. Another yeah. friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not make my friend. <laughs> So I'm going to put the links to all of your channel on there. So you guys, please do subscribe to her channel. Please, please, please do. Um, she's awesome. I watch her content as well. She's, she's great. She's funny. She's, yeah, she's really good. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you haven't and you're here, it's even rude. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Right now. Do you yes. <laughs> <laughs> and hit the notification bell for me as well, guys. Until next time, we are out. Peace.